What's up everyone at Fitness RX for Women Magazine. I'm Amanda Latona, Team YesN athlete, FMG athlete, athlete extraordinaire. And uh, you know, I'm here for the n next uh, rendition of no ifs, ands, or buts. Today, we're staying with the butts, baby. And I'm gonna be showing you one of my favorite squats um, to get a full range of motion. Now, if you follow me on my blog, at BSN, um, I always blog on there. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do, you know, and, and just like everything. I'd really appreciate that. No. Uh, so that's Amanda, at Amanda Latona. And I talk about, you know, the fact that I've had some lower back issues, which leads me from doing heavy, heavy squats or putting like a lot of pressure on my spine. So from that, I've had to figure out how can I do things to get the glutes um, without really adding a ton of weight. Now, I love doing isolation exercises and I do them very heavy. When it comes to squats, one of my favorite squats to get a full range of motion without having to add a lot of weight is the goblet squat. Now, today I'm gonna to show you the goblet squat and I'm gonna do it with a kettlebell. You can also do it with a dumbbell. But I'm here at the Fabulous City Athletic Club and they've got a wide array of uh, kettlebells. So I love, if I find kettlebells or medicine balls, Anything I can do to you know, make training different, I always incorporate that. So remember, switch it up. Now, I suggest that you take a weight that you can do you know, 10 to 12 reps, up to 15 reps. I personally am p picking this weight uh, quite simply because it matches my shoes. So if you want to go that route, hey, I'm not one to judge. <laughs> so actually, this is really heavy. Uh, these kettlebells are very deceiving. They look like they're light, but they're not. So what you want to do is you want to hold it up here and you're just going to go from the side. So I'm going to show you the range of motion. So your stance is going to be out a little wider than, you know, wider than hip width and toes pointed out. And what you're going to do is you're going to take it all the way down, ladies, all the way down. So it's just going to be, oh yeah, and up and down and up. Now, why are we holding the weight up? Well, because if we take it down here, our range of motion is limited because the weight hits it before we, you know, before we can get a full range of motion. The point about this one is, like I said, full range of motion. You want to train your glutes through your entire range of motion on your joints. So, hold the weight up. You get a little upper body action. If you see here, the thighs are flexed. It's heavy, man. All right, up, take it down, uh, squeeze, all the way down. Oh. Squeeze, all the way down. Oh, squeeze the booty, squeeze the booty. Okay, so as you see, the use of the kettlebell for the goblet squat. I gotta tell you, I'm a lot of breath. And that's just what we like, guys. You gotta work hard. Make sure you're working your butt off. Work that butt off, ladies. Now, like I said, this is freaking awesome. Oh, look at the buys. Okay, get into the gym. Drop it like it's hot. Work the glutes. <laughs> and I'll see you next time right here. Don't change that channel. Amanda Latona, no ifs, ands, or buts. FitnessRxForWomen.com.